You were trying to say some other line. No. Get some light. Get it off. If you really want to stop, you couldn't have stop. Get it off. <laughs> <laughs>
Music number two.
Well, this uh, project called Like Not Like is the next day of a project that we did last year called 24 7 365 2012, an open source online physical theater project, which um, started out thinking about, about um, working online, sharing work, what is originality, and also uh, in the end of 2011, acts and so forth were being discussed quite a lot. And uh, thinking about this, you know, um, how can you own intellectual property to ideas? And I thought, okay, so what if we, what if we start working all of 2012 with a dogma that said that every day create an idea. Each idea has to be filmed on video and uploaded to the internet the same day, 366 days for all of 2012, and everything is open source. Anyone can use it, download it, take it for their own use, the ideas, use some video material, whatever they want. And at the same time, I also had a dogma for myself, which, had, which was that I had to write um, one text every day, and the dogma for the text writing was sit down by the computer, start writing, finish within five minutes, don't have an idea beforehand, just sit down, write, finish after five minutes, that's the text. And then also, whenever I had the time, which wasn't all that often, I had to make some music or sound for the videos, so I created 78 different pieces of music and sound during the year for a different... And all of this text and the music sound and the videos are all online and they're open source. We have them on a YouTube and a Vimeo channel. And uh, we're just, uh, yeah, we're exploring, you know, just creating, having to create, even if it's, I've been working 12 hours a day, maybe touring with a or something, and then having to create something that day, even if it's midnight or I'm damn tired, and getting it online as soon as possible, yeah? So uh, that's the basics of the project, the first day. The second part of the project, yeah. it uh, started when 2012 ended, uh, so from then on we want as many people as possible to uh, like or not like the different small movies and music and uh, text. And then uh, we will take the 50, uh, 50 of the not likes, of those who got most not likes and those who got most likes. And then we have uh, two uh, researching weeks. Yeah. Two periods where we're going to research and create material for uh, an actual performance consisting of uh, one part of not likes and one part of likes. <laughs> the, one period is going to take place in the laboratory yeah. uh, in Aarhus and the other period in Forsyth de Chauvin. And um, for my sake, um, I, I didn't make as many videos as Jens. I just had to make uh, as many as possible for me, so I made like 235, something like that. <laughs> um, and it, it, it is extremely, um, it's like taking your notebook when you start creating a, a piece or something like that, and then expose it on YouTube. And uh, it's Jens who got me into the project. And it's, uh, it's, it's new, but uh, that's the uh, that's the future, you know, the near future, uh, the near future. And then we're going to end up with the, these performances, uh, which we are not going. We don't know how. We'll, of course, you never know how the performance will end or be like. But this is really in process. Yeah, the process really extremely important. We were talking about we calling it the potential art because since it's a process and it's a process, process oriented work, we don't know. It could maybe become art one day, but the moment it's a process. So it's a potential art process maybe. Um, but it's just a short presentation of what we've been doing and what we're doing. And, uh, and uh, we'd like to ask you all if you have the energy or the want, please go to our YouTube and watch videos and like or not like them. And with no filters, don't be nice. <coughs> Please don't be nice. Please just do whatever you feel like. And if you really, really, really want to help us, then give us your email address after this, and then we'll send you a playlist of videos every day for 52 days. <laughs> you, and you may ignore this playlist if you want it. <laughs> but if any day you feel like that, at least you know at least every day you have the chance of watching 
make potentially potential <laughs> art, potential art process every day, and you can also ignore them. Um, and, uh, and other than that, I think that's basically what we prepared. Again, if you have any questions, we have three questions for you. Otherwise, yes, we would like to ask questions first. If you have any. But how was when you, you uploaded everything for this whole year or something? Yeah. How was the response? Was there any response or? We have some response. I mean, I mean, it's been what they've been watched about thirty six thousand times, different videos, and uh, and uh, we have some different. I mean, like uh, the two examples I gave. I had one person for one video. I have no idea why, but he just commented, "You should go die," which is an interesting comment. <laughs> like, I wonder what what's behind this, and. Uh, and uh, also, I have two videos on the Vimeo, because I have all the videos on Vimeo are on YouTube, because it's different people watching YouTube. And then on Vimeo, there's quite a few videos, especially ones where I'm wearing not very much, or just wearing kind of underwear or something. They've been added to some channels that are, one of the people who had one of the channels in his dis description called himself a purveyor of progressive gay porn. <laughs> it's interesting. But this, I mean, this wasn't my fault, I mean, fair enough. But, but, but um, and another video was, was added to a channel, one where I'm just, where just my feet are moving, for a channel which was for men who like to watch other men's feet. And which is, that kind of, we have some reaction to uh, a guy from America who uh, was this, he is a, a music video maker. He asked for, for one of the videos that, oh, I like the idea, how did you make it, what was the specification, how did you use the projector, not one, one year, another one the projector. Uh, and um, and uh, I'd like to use the music video. So I just wrote him the specs and uh, said, yeah, go ahead, have fun. Uh, I haven't, I never heard from him, so he might have made a music video, he might not, I don't know. <laughs> those are some reactions. Can you, uh, can you say something about why it's interesting for you to as artists to hear what the audience thinks about stuff. Why is that interesting for you? Well, it's, it's one of the layers of the project. I wonder what the performance of the end is. Uh, how, how do we behave on the internet? Uh, these people having no filters, just writing that, uh, that uh, you are a bitch, and then 800 people likes it, uh, and then you suddenly <coughs> have uh, 800 people not liking you. Uh, so these changing of, uh, of the world with the internet and Facebook, and, and that's what uh, we're trying to make potential happen. And also, and on top of that also, that the, the, the creation of the, of the finished performance, if it works out, that, that we don't choose what material we use. We just say we take the 50 most like, the 50 most not like. So actually not, not being the filter of our own ideas, just coming up with some ideas and then letting other people filter these ideas for us and saying, okay, this is what we have to work with. We didn't decide this, someone else decided it, which is interesting in itself because then, you know, we don't have darlings to kill, we have other people's darlings to kill, don't we? And uh, yeah, so, so, so getting this feedback from people deciding how we have to work. I know it's a hard question, but I would be interested in uh, a bit more in the process. Like, I mean, uh, do you always have, like, for example, if you're doing a dancing improvisation, like a lower session or something, do you have a camera there filming the whole thing and then you kind of select the part that is relevant or you kind of catch the moment you are in, you're inspired in something that could be taped and then you take the camera with you or in you know, a kind of... Uh, I did, I, I did so. Some days I, I made a longer version and then I did parts of it I like and then sometimes I just made one more. Yeah. Same goes for me. Most days I just start the camera and I said, I'm going to start and finish here, and that's, that'll be it. And then sometimes it took half of the way if it was too long. Mm. Yeah. I'm curious to, to know why, why this great old fashioned things are used when, when you say that you're very interested in this whole how we like and not like. Why, why do you ask us to do it on paper and not our phones? Or? Just because it, it was too much work to manage right now. I would think it's a, it basically it's just to make it easy for us today that we can print a piece of paper and give it to you. 
So it's, it's just just for today. It's it's just to, just to make today easy for us. Okay, so you're not going to work on with this. Uh, no, we're working with with the uh, with online media. It's just today it's to, in this in this forum. Okay. It was much easier to give you a piece of paper than them. Okay. Any other question? What, what do you mean open source? Sorry. What do you mean by open source? Um, basically, uh, open source meaning that if there's an idea in it. Um, uh, the idea that we, 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 we don't claim to have a right to this idea or what, what could be made of it. We, we just say this idea came to us, but it's everybody's idea. So it's it. All of these videos and the music, they're actually all online, they're marked with an open source share like, which, which, is, a, which is a Creative Commons um, uh, um, uh, what do you call it? Creative license. Commons license, yeah. So, uh, so basically, we just license them as everybody's idea, use it as, as you like, as long as you also share your ideas. So that's sim simple as that. So, um, and we had three questions, which were, I wrote them down in a notebook that I have with me, so. Um, uh, if, if any of you have an answer, please. It's fir first, um, um, uh, first question was, what any of you, what do you see as, as a potential um, a positive thing with this project and what do you see as a potential negative thing with this project? Just off the bat. Well, one of the positive things I see is that the, I, mean, I think it's very inspiring, it's very inspired, I mean, it's inspiring a way to use creativity in our everyday life, you know, and also because I mean, it has to be minimum five minutes as I understood and you know, like, if you want to kind of, if we want to be inspired by that, you know, just use five minutes a day, like daily, to do something creative. I think it, I mean, it, it probably makes a big difference at the end of the process, you know, in your daily, you know, I think it can help us to be more sensitive about thinking creatively in, you know, just the day, regular day life. So, I think that's very positive. I would say it's, it's for me it's, it's problematic to call it open source because everybody can post something to YouTube. You can see out here there's a lot of travel on YouTube and everybody can download it, use it whatever way and nobody wants to do it because people just want to upload, nobody download or do anything with it. So in that sense it might be open source because you allow people to do it but I doubt anyone would do it. If you want to be open source, you've got to establish a community or commune or something that actually works together and uh, exchange ideas or uh, a way to do it. It isn't enough just to upload stuff. It's a good point. The, our process as well, and we're going to follow the whole process through so that, that the whole process is documented. And, and, and of course, yes, I mean, if no one uses it, it, it there's no point. So, but it, for us, it was, it's a way of starting up and trying to share it and, and opening up and we're trying to contact people through um, different artists' forums on the internet and uh, making people aware of the project and then asking them also, if, please, if, if you have a comment, why don't you video, video, uh, uh, video film your comment and upload that as well and we can share them. So we're trying to push that further, but at the moment, this is our first step. But I agree totally that, of course, uh, if, if you really want to share ideas, you need lots of different ideas from different, different directions to share. So I, I don't agree with you, but that's as far as we can take it at the moment. I mean, uh, uh, I, you were asking about something positive about this process. I mean, um, I don't know if... I don't know if, if for me or anybody else around it could be something positive, but I think for you, as, a, as an artist, putting yourself out there and working so long on a process or on a project, must be something quite positive for you, no? Very much. Yeah, I mean, that matter, that's what matters somehow at the end of the day, that you as an artist, you, you get your ideas out there and uh, people get to see it or not, but you are working on something. Definitely, yeah. And also, so, so I mean, I think that's the, the positive thing that I see in this whole project is that you were capable of taking something and sticking to it long enough and making something out of it. I think that's quite good. Yeah, and, and, and it's, it's a nice 
Yeah. It's been very nice to be aware of doing this, but also I can say, I mean, after one year, this January, February, I, I have never had my camera with me as little as I have, as I have in the past two, one, almost two months, because having wear, wear, wearing my camera as a piece of clothing for one year almost, yeah. it, it, every day, every hour has been, you know, I've got a kind of, I think I've, I've taken ten photographs the last month, <laughs> they're all of my girlfriends and them, <laughs> but yeah, but. I think that's all we have right now, so thank you very much for watching, and, uh, and yeah. If you are interested in receiving 52 spam mails with video messages, <laughs> 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 <laughs>